Hello everyone, welcome to the electrical circuit simulation uh, series. Today we'll be doing the half wave rectifier with filter capacitor and the diode. So first, this is the circuit diagram we'll be using. So these are the components. Let us see the components. The first component is the AC input. This is the AC input. It provides the AC input. Then uh, this is the diode which does the rectification, the rectifier, rectifying action. Then here we have the switch. Now this switch can be opened and closed with this particular button. So if we press this button, the switch gets closed. When the switch gets closed, this uh, capacitor gets connected. And when in this particular state, the capacitor is not connected in the circuit. So we can just actually, here is there is option. We can see the output with and without the capacitor. Then here we have the capacitor of 10 microfarad, which performs the filtration. Then we have this 100 ohms resistor where we get the output. And then we need to connect the ground to complete the circuit. So this is the actual circuit with filter capacitor. So as you can see, this uh, particular switch is uh, closed. So it will connect this capacitor. So we'll be using this particular mode. This is the input we'll be given. This input is a pure sine wave, which is coming from the AC generator. Now what happens during the positive half? So when we give the input here, so during the positive half, this is the positive half of the AC this diode is on because diode is now in forward bias so with forward bias the diode conducts and with the diode conducts as you can see we are getting the output here now because this output is also in parallel with this capacitor so this capacitor also gets the output and capacitor gets charged as you can see plus and minus sign this are the this this capacitor gets charged fully okay what happens in during the negative half this is the negative half this diode is off and because the diode is off th this diode will not conduct but this charge okay which was stored during the positive half they will actually flow okay in this way through this particular path and they will actually keep try to keep the output intact okay so this they will flow to the resistor so because of this capacitive action we get the, the output does not falls to zero but it remains at particular voltage level let us see the uh, this particular waveform so this is the input wave okay the pure sine wave and this is the output wave without filter so if we are not using a filter we get this pulsating dc in which we see that the output we get the output only during the positive half and nothing during the negative half now this is the filter capacitor action so what does filter do during the positive half it gets charged at, at this point when it goes into the negative cycle the capacitor discharges because of which the voltage is retained it doesn't falls to zero so you can make the difference between this blue wave and the red wave so this red wave it actually shows the capacitor action so it clears the that particular ripples to some extent so we don't get a pure dc but it is almost close to a pure dc so that's how this particular circuit works so now let us see the simulation part uh, where we actually run this particular circuit using samuel id so we'll see that particular simulation now construct the circuit for constructing the circuit first we need the wave generator so I'll just click here and drag this circuit here then uh, we need a diode so we have this in the active rectifier you can see diode is here we'll take this diode and uh, then we uh, need a ground so here is the ground we'll keep it here and then we need a filter capacitor so capacitor will be in passive components in passive you can see there is a reactive option so in this we have this capacitor now uh, we will demo I will demonstrate the use of this capacitor with capacitor without capacitor so let me turn it uh, counterclockwise then uh, I'll just take a switch so that I can just connect and disconnect the capacitor so that we can see what actually exactly happens with this capacitor we will have this is the switch we select the switch and again turn this just turn this clockwise so this circuit can be turned on and off now we need a resistor where we get the output so this is the resistor I'll just put it here and turn it counterclockwise now we do the connection so for connecting we disconnect we, we connect this to the diode and this to the switch and from switch to the capacitor and from capacitor we connect this to the ground and then we connect this in parallel with the half with this circuit 
so here we we get the output so if we press this the capacitor gets connected so this becomes a circuit with capacitor and if you click here this is uh, open so this is a simple half wave rectifier now to check the output we need a oscilloscope so in meters we can see oscilloscope here i just put it here okay do one thing we can just shift the circuit a little bit on the left side and we have this now we connect the input so here we have four channels this yellow channel i connect to the input so here we have the input there is no need to connect the ground here and this the light purple i connect here at the output so this is the connection now we can just turn on i'll just uh, start here and also turn on the power supply so this is what we get i'll just put it here and i'll just expand this view so this is the expanded view so this is a normal uh, half wave rectifier now what i do is uh, keeping this on all i'll just expand this wave sorry not this one this one sorry okay this is now this output is the same as we get for normal half wave rectifier now what i do is uh, i'll just put this circuit uh, i'll just uh, uh, click here so that this particular uh, switch is uh, on okay now what will happen is by this what will happen is capacitor will get connected so if i close the switch see what output we are getting is we are getting this okay just observe it which when you open the circuit this is this output is without you can see the pink one is the yellow wave yellow is the input and this light pink uh, sorry light purple is the output now we are getting uh, this this one is not a pure dc okay it is we are getting pulses of dc so imp to improve the dc or to to just clear the ripples we click here connect the capacitor and we get this okay so this is more better than the previous case we want dc dc means almost a straight line but we are still getting some components of ac are present so what we can do is we can just increase the value of the capacitor so i just click here okay i just click on this value of capacitor i just stop this and click here and i will just increase the value of the capacitor is 10 microfarad i'll make it as 100 microfarad let us see what change we are getting now i just turn it on okay so i start this simulation and turn it on as you can see this was more wavy and now it has become almost um, almost straight so if we increase the value of capacitor further this line will become almost straight that that's what the use of capacitor is it clears it filters out the ac components and we get more dc so this is the effect suppose if when i uh, now I open the switch it becomes pulses of dc with this on we get almost a dc current so that's how uh, we can use the half wave rectifier with the capacitor filter so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching